Hey guys and girls. So in this video right here, we're going to walk through how to get colors from Photoshop elements. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to get all the colors out of here from, from the font colors to um, the colors of the backgrounds, all that there. We're going to put into our styling sheet. This is the styling sheet we had before, um, before right here. I'm basically going to just put that into here. So this is the file right here. So we're going to go through here. Let's take this out of here. And we're going to go through here, go in here. Our assets folder into our CSS and we're gonna um, basically open this file right here and we can just go in here we can um, choose how we want to open it you open it with Adam or whatever you want to do but this is basically what we're doing right here so yeah so it's all in here and we're gonna be working off of that so the next thing we're gonna do um, we're gonna go ahead and pull up Photoshop I already start pulling it up because um, sometimes Photoshop takes a little long um, as I said before we're going to go with the regular grid system and go in there and we're going to use control plus to zoom in. Um, about 66% on this computer. Um, and then we're going to um, remove all the grids. So I remove that system right there. And then we're going to move clear guides. Okay. So now we got to go through and get the colors. So basically we're going to go through this right here. Um, they have a little tool right here it's specifically for the text you can use the same one before and you can just click into this and then this little dialog box will come up and we can get the, the number from it and basically um, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna just create a, a color text and we'll come back and reference them so we're gonna create these up at the top right here underneath most use um, actually in most use and this is gonna be our blue And then we're going to just do color. And as our blue, we're going to do this is going to be blue text. Um, make sure we do this class with the class at the beginning. And then we're going to put um, our colon right there. And then we're going to go back to the next one. And then the next, so when we do this for um, backgrounds, which I don't know, I don't think we have any specific, we have this blue background right here. We don't do um, background color. I'm going to put a dash for the background color. And we're going to do this as BG right there. So that's the blue background, blue text. And then when we come in, we'll be able to add those into there. So let's go to the next color. So we have, right, this should be regular white. Um, copy the same thing for white and just change out the colors and everything. So um, this is going to be this is white. Um, and this color right here is going to be FFFF. Basically, 6x F is or 3, and it turns white or 6, just depending on exactly what you want to do in that part. You can do a shorthand version one of it. And then white. And it's a white background. And um just to just to make sure we have this correct on this right here, I'll make sure this one's white. Yeah, that's white as well. Yep, white. So we have a white background as well um, for this, so we can use that. Okay, so we have our blue and white background right here. And then the next thing we're going to go through, do we're going to do another one too as well. So we know it's just just confirm that this is the same blue. Relative is the same. We got to zoom in a little more to check. This is pretty much the same. This blue is the same. Then we need to check these grays out. Okay. So let's go copy one of these right here again, and we're gonna do um, we're gonna do this as a light gray. Background as well. Copy this gray right here. 
um, put it into this. And we're going to go back and we're going to basically tie all of these on to what you call it. We're going to tie these into the classes when we go into the CSS portion. All right, put these H's. As you see, too, as well, if you write, if you actually just write um, light gray, it actually will come up with this one right here because it knows this, that that's the color for it. But um, I like to go ahead and do the hex codes. So we have three of them down. So now we need to see what is this color gray up here at the top. So if it's a text, we're going to go back to our text tool. And we're going to um, specifically go through here. We're going to get the color picker really quick so we can get into this. And we're going to see what gray this is. So this is our dark grays. So we basically just, you can type this out too as well. I'm just going to copy and paste it. But I'm using um, control. Yeah, so I'm using control um, C to copy and then control P to control V to paste. And this is our dark gray. Okay, so now we have that color right there. We're going to go through now and we're going to um, going to copy this over. And that gives our start a dark gray. And I don't think we even have this one as a background. Our dark gray as a background. Maybe this one is. Let me check. Well, this one's actually a different gray. So um, almost a black, basically. Okay. So we're not going to worry about that part there. So we have about all the colors up here besides I think this one needs to be a color. Or we need to check and see if it's a color. So we need to X out of that. Um, cancel this. Exit out. And then we need to see what color this is. Um, okay, this blue, this gray is a different color. So we're going to do like a, um, we're going to do just a gray color. I'm going to say gray, gray text. And we're going to do color. Um, put the hashtag, hashtag on, hashtag on, and then we're going to do, um, for background, copy this, bg, add background to this, and a dash, oh, with that equal sign. And that extra G and the S. <laughs> okay, so background, and that'd be that background for this one right here. So we do do one of those with the background. And we might we might remove this later on, but yeah. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come back to here. And then we're going to... cancel out of this. We have this color already from correct. And so we need to do um the next color. And the next color is gonna be this. Let's see if we already have this one. Nope, we don't have this one right here. We're gonna do um this call this mid dark. Uh, cause we have a lot of grays on here. And then we'll do mid dark, mid dark, and it's all fours for the hex code. Um, as you see right here, basically, um, the biggest thing is what we're doing this right here is getting these colors down packed. It's kind of similar to other ones. The things a lot of copy and pasting and getting this ready to go. Um, for for the real reason, you don't really um, this stuff is. Not so much heart intensive, but this is going to allow you. So when you implement your styling after you get your HTML, the the site already starts to look properly how it's supposed to. Um, and basically, we're going to go through it. We're going to do these for all the colors. 
um, for every single one. Um, these are obviously the same right here. So the next thing that we'll do is come down to this one right here for this background. And we'll do the same thing for this one. And then we're going to go see what color this is. And then since this is the background, we know we're going to use this for background. So we're going to bring this over to as well. And this is basically um, a dark blue, a very dark blue. Let's do, let's do very dark blue. And then background. So we do background color. And then we have the half sound. Then remove this right here. And done. Okay, so that's the background color for that one right there. And we already have these blues and we already have these right here as a color already. So we're gonna come down to here. We have basically all of these right here. I, I need to check and see if we have this though. I don't know for sure if this one's on there. So let's go through and check it. Oh, we already have that one. That's the that's the original blue. Um, the original blue. Um, this is the original blue too as well. Let's check this one. See what black this is. We have that one. We have that one already. That gray. We have this blue is ready. Um, and then we have all of these because these are as well. This should be the 4-4. So we basically almost have a color. I don't think we have this color right here for this background. So it's going to do this right here. Nope, we don't have this one right here. So let's do very light gray. And all we really need is the background color for this one. And then um, this is F6, F6. We can't forget the half sign on this. And then I'm probably going to move this out of this section when we get to the next one. So we can have that a little better understanding. So let's go to the next one. So let's go check out these right here. See what color these are. Do we have this dark gray right here? Or blue? Yeah, we don't have this one right here, so let's go ahead and do this one. This is a actually we do because this this is basically the same color as this one right here. Okay, so we don't need that. Get that one. We just need to do um yeah, and we're gonna take this as an image anyway, so we don't need to really worry about that. So let's the next one. We have that color already. Already have that one. Um, do we have an E E U all all E's one? Um, nope. So we're gonna do mid. Just do. So all we need is a background one for this one. And then two as well. I, we didn't. This one's misspelled. This one dead on there. Light. So let's do very mid right there. Do E. Okay. So we have that one done right there, and that's going to be um, this color right here. And then just to check, we're going to go through and check out, make sure, see what color these are. This should be 3 3. And I'm correct, this should be um, our regular 4, if I'm right. Or three, three, two. Okay, so we have that one, and then let's just get the ending one right here, and then we'll be done on this part. So yeah, so basically you see, it's just going through each one. I'm trying to show you guys kind of what what to kind of look for um, on this right here. But we have our um, basically we need another background color. Um, this right here should be BG, so we, before we can know that they're backgrounds as fast as possible. So basically trying to make it a lot easier so when we get started and that as you guys are going to see um, when we go through and do this right here um, it's going to be to the point where it's just going to come together a lot a lot easier um, 
and it makes it a lot you know a lot easier for us to do right here so i'm gonna do this as i'm gonna do as um it's almost black so i'm gonna do we'll, do mid black okay and then we're gonna put this as this background color and then we're gonna do hash sign copy this over and then basically we have all our colors right here um as you see it's pretty simple for the thing it took us 15 minutes to get all the colors off of here that we needed um and basically we have everything we really need for all the colors and then basically we're gonna start putting these colors up here i'm gonna actually take all of these out of here out of my most shoes um i i do this a lot my most basically take my um most shoes part right here so i can um just it makes it a lot easier for me for catching stuff that i i change a lot so i'm gonna remove these And then I'm going to add a new one on here. I'm going to call it um, Colors. And I'm going to do Color Start. And add these right here just so I can get the separation so I know what it is. And you guys have this file too as well. So just do that. This one's one too many. Okay, so let's go down here. And then underneath this one, um, copy this. Put it down here but as you see right here um this is how this is kind of the basis of going through and creating your page you have to get your colors your fonts the sizes of things which we're going to go through next in the images and once you get that stuff right there and you already write this stuff at out as css it makes it so much easier and as you guys see as soon as we put these stylings on every on each portion all we really need to add is margin and a little bit of padding in certain areas and size some things up and add the images and it makes it so much easier to get everything exactly how you how you want it so guys, um, this is the end of this video right here. Um, in the next video, we're going to be going more depth into getting the size of the individual Photoshop elements. So make sure you head over to that one now.